Hey, what's up, y'all? OG Money Stacks back again um, with the third and final part. Yes, it's very late, but um, I finally decided to make it. Uh, the third part of the 800-105-14 series of videos. Um, I've been busy with various shit, you know, life and whatnot. But I uh, also have been too lazy to take apart my PS3. But I um, decided to finally make the third part for uh, people that needed to know. How to how to do this so uh, I promised it and uh, um, I'm finally gonna make it so um as you can see my PS3 is already already taken apart um, to get to this step is not hard at all I mean it's just the lid that goes on there and the screws that have arrows facing to them that you need to take apart and uh, it's no problem to do it um no obviously my PS3 is is the launch 60 gig like you know um, but I mean, yours might be different. Yours could be, you know, 80, the 20, the 40. There's a, a lot of different models that are out now. And then, and including the Slim, which is, which looks nothing like this, is completely different. So, um, if you're coming here looking how to fix the Slim, it's, it's a no-go. But, um, so, yeah. Um, I already have everything unscrewed. And, um, this is what it should look like once you get the top off. Um, now I'm not going to take apart the whole PS3, I'm just going to do the Blu-ray drive to get to the laser um, and show you how to do that and to fix the laser, put the new laser in and see if it works. So um, the first thing you want to do is um, uh, when you open it, your, there'll be this, this, um, this right here, this cable that's connected to the motherboard and you want to undo that, you know, just pull up on it and it'll come out. Um, then you would want to lift up straight up. There's no screws or anything that the uh, Blu-ray drive holds. Lift straight up, and you can see I've already disconnect, disconnected everything and unscrewed everything, so you guys didn't have to sit there and watch me unscrew some shit because you're gonna do it yourself anyway. But um, this ribbon cable right here, this blue ribbon cable, will be in the bottom of this uh, drive and what you want to do to get that out is uh, don't pull a yank but um, take this, this black clip right here and you're gonna want to pull up on that slightly and it'll just it'll kind of just swing and um, you pull the cable out um, they're pretty easy they pretty much come out like butter so there's no really pulling hard or anything but uh, once that's out just leave that cable like that and then just lift straight up and the drive comes out and that's pretty much how easy it is to get the drive out. <clears throat> so once you get the drive out, um, you can see um, I've already unscrewed yeah the bottom and everything. So um, <clears throat> uh, flip the drive over, and you're gonna see um, screws. Um, there's gonna be a screw right here, a screw right here in the middle. And a screw on this side and then there's going to be two screws down here at the bottom um keep in mind though that um the three top screws well i don't know if they vary for models different models or what but um the three top screws on mine were black so just um and the two bottom ones were white so i'm going to show you um it also has this little clip right here this clip with a screw in it this goes on this side i don't know if it spe serves any special purpose but um, just make sure that it's opposite the the yellow sticker when you put it, uh put everything back together. That that clip and this screw goes there. I don't know, maybe mine's special, but it only has one clip on on that side. And uh, another gray so uh, gray one or a silver screw goes here. So two silver, the clip, and the two black screws or the three black screws, sorry, that go here. So um, don't worry about these these motherboard screws. Don't worry about those. Um, that was just hold the board into the case. They don't need to be unscrewed, but just unscrew the so you get this top case out So once you get all those those five screws done uh, Flip it back over and you're gonna wanna let's See if I can get you a better angle um, I want them just lift lightly Just like that lift up and it should come undone and then just slide because it has those hooks in the bottom and just slide and then there it is the top is off simple as that um set it aside 
Okay, now here's the internal parts right here. Now, when you get to this part, there's gonna be five black screws, again, to hold the top on. There's gonna be a screw here, there's gonna be a screw here, there's gonna be a screw here, and there's gonna be a screw here and there. No, they, yeah, they surround the, the case. So one, two, three, four, five. All black screws. It shouldn't really matter though. They don't differ in size from the metal case ones. So they can mix and match, it don't matter. Um, just make sure not to lose them because they are small. This is how small they are. Um, put them in like a, a tin or a cup or whatever you have to do to not lose them because they're pretty important. Um, the thing is with electronics is that um, everybody thinks they're that complicated and that um, fragile, but the truth is they're not. Um, I'm surprised my PS3 still works as many as times as I've taken it apart. Um, I'm surprised the Blu-ray drive still works as many times as I've taken it apart and um, done videos and stuff like that and just researched and looked around. But um, this is probably the most dangerous part. Um, of the whole procedure is when you take the cover off and get to the laser and it's exposed to everything so um, once you've done all the screws um, the lid is gonna be loose just like that but um, there's gonna be a screw here um, I lost this screw uh, on my first I think my first time I took it apart there's gonna be like a silver screw here um, yours probably, you'll probably still have it, but uh, I don't, so, but thank God this uh, piece of plastic is here, and it kind of keeps it tucked in here, like that, just kind of keeps it tucked, and um, it's fine, it causes no problems whatsoever, so, also, um, when you take it apart, there is going to be a piece of white tape right here, there's going to be a piece of tape right here, it's kind of similar, it's pretty much the this kind of tape for my card reader, as you can see, this one doesn't stick well <laughs> at all anymore. So um, what I did is when I took the white tape off, um, if if yours happens to get like you know if someone crunches it up or it gets ripped or it doesn't stick anymore, all you gotta do is take a piece of scotch tape or masking tape and just put it over there. It does the same job, it does the same shit. So um, don't worry if the tape gets ruined or whatever. And like oh no, tape is so important. 